Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, help me out here. I'm a little ADHD. I don't have much of a memory at all. Kind of a goldfish. Oh, look, a castle. But seriously, when was the last time the conservative rights, your average right leaning individual, or even full on conservative, a Charlie Kirk type, Pushed a campaign of violence. I, I, I've racked my brain. And, you know, I'm, I'm not really talking about, like, the, the fringes, really. Just your average. I can't. I don't, I don't think the conservatives have, have ever really pushed violence. It seems. And, of course, you correct me if, if I'm wrong. That um, we'll say, well, let's say the vast majority. Because there's always outliers, of course. The vast majority of political violence goes one way. But also, the political violence in rhetoric often seems to go one way. Now, maybe that's because those of us on the right have been conditioned through the, the heavy boot that is social media Obviously, a lefty can scream on YouTube or on Twitter or wherever, you know, violent things, and it's fine. If a conservative does it, they're, they're booted. So we, we really had to learn. Maybe that's part of it. But this new trend that's popping up on TikTok and other social media is deeply, deeply disturbing. Now, you might, you might have somebody say, oh, but it's just kind of a joke. Well, sure, it's just kind of a joke. It was just kind of a joke to shoot Donald Trump until somebody did, right? Women furious about Trump's win start MATGA movement, which glorifies poisoning of men. They asked for it. They asked to be poisoned when they voted for Donald Trump. They asked to be poisoned when they when they voted for lowering inflation and closing the border and uh, getting harder on crime and uh, maybe repairing some of the, the holes in the voting laws and, you know, just all that. It's ridiculous. So Matka, make Aqua Tofina great again. All right, I'm interrupting my own video here so I can say it's Tofana. I keep saying Tofina. I don't know why I keep doing that. But I get my shit together a little bit later on in the video. It is Aqua Tofana. Julia Tofana. Not Tofina. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm probably retarded. Whatever it is, Tofana. Back to the video. Now there, this story will, will cover it. But uh, Aqua Tofina was a poison uh, made a uh, long, long time ago, many moons ago. A woman, Julia Tofina. She um, is said to have, like, poisoned 600 men. Apparently, they were, like, abusive husbands. I mean, we don't really know. We don't really know what happened. I mean, do you really think those were witches that were burned? No, they weren't actually witches that they were burned. Some woman didn't like some other woman, and then she was like, she's a witch! And then the other woman was like, what? I'm not a witch! And, and that was it, right? So we don't, we don't really know. If these men were like abusive or if their wives were like, you know what? I just fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't want them anymore. There's a, there's a, there's a younger chap waiting and I just, I don't want to divorce. I just, you know, I, I bet divorce wasn't even a thing back then. So it was just easier to kill him. Anyway, so Julia Tofina was, she put like all the herbs and all the things together and made special poison or whatever. And, and then the woman would go, oh, I need that. And then they would kill their husbands and then move on with their lives. And doctors, not fully understanding poison and toxicity and all that, they're like, yeah, we have no idea. It's very obviously not a, a, a sword wound, so we don't know what it was that killed them. So now we have all of the women being like, we're going to poison our husbands and our brothers and our fathers and our friends and neighbors just because they voted for Donald Trump. It's, it's, actually, it's really, really upsetting to me. The women online have taken to filming ghoulish murder fantasy videos in which they romanticize lacing men's beverages with deadly poison 
as a justifiable response to fears about abortion rights under a second Donald Trump presidency. You know, Donald Trump, the guy who's going to strip abortion. And we know this. We know he's going to take abortion away because he said the words, I'm not going to take abortion away. Can you believe that? Oh, my God. Donald Trump, are you going to take abortion away? No, it's with the states. Some people have more abortion. Some people have less abortion. It's to the states. It's now for the people in those states to vote on. If that state wants all of the abortion, they can have it. They vote for it, and then they can have all of it. If that state doesn't want any abortion, then they vote for it, and then they have no abortion. If you want an abortion, go to a place that has it. Also consider, and of course we are talking about the average abortion, not the extremes, because maybe you've noticed when, when, when we talk about abortion, the conversation immediately goes to the extremes. We're talking about incest and rape and life of the mother. Those are extremes. They happen so rarely. And most people agree that the extremes, the fringes, should be dealt with, safe, legal, and, and, and rare. That's the average person's belief. We're talking about all the other stuff. All the, oh my God, I, I was totally a whore and I took five dicks and I wound up pregnant. I don't know who the daddy is. I'll just kill the baby. You know, we're talking about that kind of stuff, right? You can go to another state if you happen to find yourself in a state that doesn't want it. Like, your rights aren't being taken away, ladies. Like, like what rights? Like, what, what rights? Heavens to Betsy. Goodness. Many of the videos have been viewed millions of times on X or TikTok and feature young women fiendishly grinning as they adulterate a cup of tea or another drink with an unknown substance. So they're, they're using like water or like whatever as their prop, right? But uh, the idea, because this is fan fantasy, is that uh, it's poison that, that will kill whichever man they're serving. Some of the women have dubbed the videos part of a Make Aqua Tofina Great Again. It's so stupid. A nod both to President Trump and ancient killer Julia Tofina, who has been um, adopted as the disturbed group's heroine. He heroine? Female hero. So I am going to play this. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of music that I can't have. So we're going to just pause the music. So that's the thing. This is Julia Tufana. She is responsible for all the stuff and she took the poisons and, and all of that and killed lots of people. And um, she put it in little bottles dis disguised as cosmetics and then killed all the men. And they don't know if, if she got her comeuppance or, or if she got away with it. Am I right? Aqua Tavana. If you know, you know. And also, I mean, they, they do this thing, right? I mean, these, these, let's not mince words. They're cunts. Absolute fucking cunts. Fucking cunts. Look at this. Look at this bitch's face. She's obviously a cunt. You couldn't take her anywhere because you'd be, oh my God. You know what, lady? I saw you put the poison in my drink. Let me drink it with a... I would let them kill me to get away from this bitch. But anyways, the point is, the your body, my choice. These are the ones screaming, my body, my choice, my body, my choice. Give me my autonomy. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they're going to be like, actually, we're going to do a matriarchy. We are the boss of you. Otherwise, we're going to poison you. Are you kidding me? Could you imagine if we ever, ever did? Actually, ladies, we're going to do The Handmaid's Tale. It's your body and it's our choice. We're going to dump in you repeatedly until we get babies. Like, they think it's going to happen. It's never going to happen. Also, The Handmaid's Tale was shit. Margaret Atwood, fucking terrible author. And I can tell you because she's Canadian and I've ha I was fucking forced to read that shit in school as a Canadian. They're like, oh my God, Margaret Atwood, fuck that bitch. Point is, this is ridiculous. So. While the movement aims to protest against perceived perceived misogyny and loss of rights, there, it, it's, it is perceived. 
because there is an actual misogyny happening because you're like, oh my God, the men are taking away my rights. What about those other women? Are women taking away women's rights? No. No, abortion isn't a right. You know what I mean? It's just not. Having a piece of cheese surgically implanted into your elbow also isn't a right. It's just, it's, it's not. So, against perceived misogyny and loss of rights, the imagery of poisoning could be interpreted as promoting violence, which goes against non-violent protest principles and many advocates um, in, in modern activism, right? So, where your whole thing, this is all just rhetoric. And you might go, well, we're just, it's, we're just fantasizing. It's just fine. We're just playing around. We're no, no one's really going to do any poisoning, really, because I want you to imagine how stupid the average person is and then consider that half of them are stupider than that. Just recently, actually, just the other day in Minnesota, I believe it was Minnesota, maybe it was Wisconsin. I don't know. I sometimes get those mixed up because they're basically long lost provinces of Canada. But the point is a man, a man, a dude killed not only himself, killed his little children and killed his wife and then killed his ex-wife because he was afraid of what living in a Donald Trump world would be like, despite having lived in a Donald Trump world once before, and it was good. This white guy had a great life under Donald Trump, and he decided to yeet fucking everybody in his life. You're going to tell me these people aren't deranged to, to be like, hey, you know what? This is a good idea. Like, these are the same people who, who are like, oh my God, oh my God, you know what? Donald Trump suggest, suggested hydroxychloroquine, an actual medicine. People are going to start eating fish cleaner. They're that stupid. And sure, yes, one, one woman did give her husband fish cleaner. And but, but huh, here's the thing. That one woman who gave her husband fish cleaner was like, but Donald Trump told me to. She was actually trying to kill him because she knew fish cleaner would kill you. Like, these people are stupid. They're actually going to do this. This kind of, a, it's a movement for violence. Like, we're, we're really, like, dancing on the line here. Sure, free speech is a thing, and I do love free speech. I'm all about free speech. I'm not saying that these women can't do this. I'm saying they should probably have the fucking common sense to maybe not be doing this. Especially during right now, we have a massive fucking problem with mental health. It has been reported. Now, I can't verify that the number is correct, but about 7,500 people since Donald Trump's election, 7,500 people have offed themselves because of it. I mean... In my opinion, sure, that cleans up the gene pool a little bit. This might be a win, but ultimately, I, I jest. It's a dark joke. But the thing is, death is sad. I don't like when people die. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And so since everyone is so fragile right now, super hyper emotional, everyone on the left is very upset. They might actually do this. We have people cutting off their family. They're like, oh, my God, you voted Trump. I can never speak to you ever again. Some people might do this. The left, if the right, so if the right did this, the left would call this stochastic, stochastic terrorism. That's what they would do. Oh, won't somebody rid me of this meddlesome priest? Stochastic terrorism. But because the left is doing it, political violence is only allowed to go from one way. So also, before I play this video again, the, the your body, my choice thing. It, I don't know if I can actually articulate how how upset it gets me are, are my jimmies rustled yeah you could say that they're thoroughly rustled the jimmies the, so the movement can be seen as a critique of how political slogans are used by subverting the my body my choice matka points out how slogans can be co-opted or misused in political discourse often for agendas that might contradict with the slogans original intent while some participants might treat the Matka trend as symbolic or satirical, expressing, expressing frustration through hyperbole, others might question whether this rhetoric, even in jest, undermines the principle of bodily autonomy when taken to such an extreme. This, your body, my choice, it has 
coming from them has now forever, I, in my opinion, undermined the my body, my choice because we can just flick a switch. Next time they go, but my abortions, my body, my choice. Then we are going to say your body, my choice, baby, we can do that. Sure, you can poison us, but we can just, I don't know, punch you in the face repeatedly. Don't ever punch anybody in the face repeatedly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just the escalator of violence now. Like, if you really lived under a patriarchy, our hands would be around your neck. But they're not, are they? Like, oh, girls, I have an I, I have an idea. Let's wear blue bracelets so so we we can we can find each each other because blue bracelets, and then instead they're gonna get aqua tofana tattoos. Like the the left. On an unrelated note, are you ladies interested in investing in poison rings? What is happening on the left? Their brains are melting down. Man, that are you? I'm sure you know somebody, or maybe you yourself have said, oh, you know, if there ever were a civil war, the left, they're in trouble. You know, that joke gets made because the right is usually more inclined to like strategy and military and, and policing and, and a much more organized structure of doing that kind of thing, right? The left is fucking insane. The left is the, is the kind of, they're the kind of people that will like, it strap a bomb on themselves because they're like fanatics or start poisoning people randomly. They're the kind of people that will scream in a baby's face. Like they're the dangerous ones. They're, they're way more dangerous than the right is like poison rings. What are you going to do with your poison ring? Like you're just going to in your husband's face one day and then he's dead. Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> and Oh my God, the septum piercing. I don't know. Point is, they all fucking look the same. My advice for American women. Poison rings, they've asked for it. Really? By lowering taxes, we asked to be fucking murdered? Me is a privilege. Hear me out, ladies. What, with your blue fucking hair? Talking to you is a privilege? Good, I don't want it. Fuck off. Your body, my choice. Lady, you body, you spelt that wrong. You're an idiot. Fuck you and your septum ring and your blue hair. God, you're also kind of ugly. Jesus Christ. Dofano is a 17th century Italian woman who sold poison to wives who wished to dispatch their abuse of husbands. Of course, abuse of husbands is probably what we've, you know changed it to because she was likely a psycho and these women were like i'm not allowed to get a divorce so i'll just kill him Dufana's signature brew was a mismatch of deadly ingredients such as arsenic and a belladonna known as aqua tufana a concoction that was so effective she is considered by many today as the most prolific serial killers of all time so maybe she wasn't a saint at all she was just a fucking serial killer the poison, believed to be flavorless and completely undetectable after death. Well, I believe it or not, they didn't have fucking CSI back then. We could probably detect arsenic poisoning today. Was typically stored in ordinary cosmetic bottles, ensuring that a husband who was about to get whacked would be none the wiser to his impending fate. This is psychotic. One of the online clips shows a young lady with green hair. Yep. A backwards camel hat and a large spiked septum ring with the text Aquatofana isn't hard to make. Superimpose over footage of her making the throat slitting gesture with her thumb. That's advocating for violence. I, I'm pretty sure all of this violates TikTok policies, but whatever. Many of the videos include a portion of leftist asshole Eminem song Venom in the background featuring the lyrics, This fucking world better prepare to get laced because they're going to taste my venom. Some of the women don't mention Aqua Tufana specifically, but instead show off their poison rings. Wearable baubles with a hidden compartment supposedly made to hold a lethal dose of a toxin. 
My advice for American women reads the text in a video of a woman standing by a body length mirror. I know you will understand this. They asked for it. The text reads before she flips open her ring like a psychopath. In a plea for common sense, a woman posted a TikTok video urging people participating in the matka to think long and hard about what they were doing. You do know these videos can be used against you, right? It's giving off premeditated vibes. The internet is forever. Also, the 1600s were a lot different than 2024 advancements in detecting poison. Reads the text positioned over the video for scrunching her face in disbelief. Yeah, right? Like, this shit doesn't fly so well today. Liberal women have been registering their dismay at the outcome of the election through the Matka movement and a number of other ways, meticulously documenting everything online. Also, the 4B movement, where you're not having sex with men, you're not dating men, you're not marrying men, and you're not, not doing childbirth. What you've basically done is become a female incel, a fem cell. You're removing yourself entirely. I mean, that's fine because there's other women who maybe haven't had an opportunity to uh, be so lucky in love like you. And uh, now you're creating space for them. So they're probably happy. Congratulations. You've played yourself. You've removed yourself from the gene pool. I hope these four years aren't your fertile years. Like, holy shit. Some have uh, started shaving their heads, which is also another thing. It's like, oh, lady, you had absolutely stunning hair. Now you're just a bald freak. But <laughs> here's, kind of, here's kind of another thing. What, why, why is shaving your head protest? Have you now uglied yourself? Is that what you've done? You made yourself ugly by shaving your hair. So what are you saying to the women who can't have long hair, whether or not they have alopecia or maybe they are going through chemotherapy or whatever? Are they ugly now? Is that what your protest is signaling? Hey, world, I'm ugly now. I've shaved my head. Men won't want me. What are you saying to that, 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 that chemo patient or the girl with alopecia? Huh? Yeah, you're kind of a cunt. Anyways, plowing ahead. Just going to wrap this up here. Um, some have started shaving their heads while others engaging in sex strikes against men or committing to not getting pregnant or giving a birth for the duration of Trump's second term to protest what they see as a potential draconian abortion matters, uh, measures to come in under him. Why? Why? Roe v. Wade was bad law. It was really, really bad law. There's preumbras and shit. Which means that to get Roe v. Wade into effect, the Supreme Court had to turn it sideways and squint really hard and see fucking magical mist in between the, the words and, and the lines to come up with it. It was bad law. All, all the judges of the time agreed. Actually, it's really bad law. We wanted the abortion, so we fucking fabricated some shit. This is, this is setting it right. Tenth Amendment, back to the states. Now the states choose. Not all states have worse abortion laws. Some of them have better. Now you can take that. Or however it is. Some people go better abortion laws are less. Some people say better abortion laws are more. Whatever. But some states have more or less. Coincidentally, believe it or not, people advocating for rights of unborn children, um, you know, move, movement rights always eventually succeed. So that, that doesn't bode well for abortion. That's besides the point. Trump helped pave the way uh, for the conservatives to overturf Roe v. Wade, but that was a good thing because it was bad law. Some other woman, some other time, can bring up a law through, through the courts and Supreme Court and do a different law. I mean, that can be done. It was just this law specifically was bad. States now have the power to determine their own abortion laws instead. The incoming president has stated repeatedly that he would veto a federal abortion ban the number of uh, abortions in America has actually increased since the overturning of Roe v. Wade, according to the New York Times, even in states that have enacted new restrictions on the procedure. So what are these women fucking doing? Is it because they're insane or is it because they're stupid? Maybe both. I don't know. But that's going to wrap up this video. I love you all so very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>